Egypt's law says, obviously, they should be put to death. We can go all night on this, Brother Peter, so we might as well move on to the next thing. Is there anything else you wanted to say before I bring up the next topic? Um, no, not necessarily, except Christians, and especially preachers, um, instead of um, you know railing on people like uh, Pastor Stephen Anderson and uh, Pastor Roger Jimenez, and cowering on this issue and backtracking on this issue, um, it's not funny anymore. It, maybe it kind of was, uh, you know, it, it, at first it was weird and, and, you know, it's strange, but now it's it's getting dangerous with how much ground the sodomites are, are gaining. Right. And it's like, is, is any man, like, is there going to be any man, my elder, that I'm able to uh, actually look up to and get behind? Like, is anybody going to actually preach what the Bible says about this? And, uh, you know, at, while they are holding drag queen story hour across the nation and while they're, you know, raising their sodomite flag on your front lawn and on, on your churches. And um, are you just going to, you know, are you, you know, you talk, they talk a lot of talk about, you know, spiritual warfare and wrestling, not against flesh and blood, but against principalities where, well, I mean, do you believe that, you know, it, sodomies of the devil, we can all agree on that. Right. I mean, we can all agree that we don't want to live in Sodom and Gomorrah. I mean, so it's not just that they're not standing. It's that they, they, they're actually going out of their way. It seems to get up behind their pulpit. And instead of ripping on these violent predators and uh, these pedophiles and these monsters that are sodomite reprobate homosexuals, they actually go out of their way to make sure you know how much they love them and, and will accept them into their uh, churches. And uh, it's becoming repugnant and it's becoming uh, something it's becoming quite angering. And um, they need to um, wake up and realize that they are they are giving their children a country that they're giving their children and their uh, successors a, a a really a bad lot because of their inability and their unwillingness to stand against the most violent predator in the Bible, which is a son of Belial sodomite, which is there's plenty of scripture on it. So why aren't they preaching on it is what I want to know.